and welcome, my name is Thompson Play, and in today's video we're going to be going through the install process and how to get yourself the Black Ops 3 Mod 2s that just came out. So let's go! Okay so to start things off, you have to get these on PC, there's no option for console at the moment and I don't foresee there being one in the future because map making is just so much easier on a PC and to try and do that on a console would be difficult and with a controller and bleh. So. Guys, I don't think there'll be mod tools for the for the consoles, but you might see in the future where mods come over to the console, so you develop them on your PC and then you can play them on the console. Who knows? We'll see in the future. But to get the mod tools, first of all, if you're not familiar with PC, you're going to need a decent enough PC, and I'll show you the minimum requirements for the game so you can see, well, is your computer good enough to play it? Now, starting things off, Steam is... An essential. I recommend just go ahead and buy the game because it's going to make your life a lot easier. You get the mod tools and all the updates when they come out and you can just access the community hub and download plenty of mods and games when they're made. It's just easier and to be perfectly honest with you it's going to save you a lot of headache in the future. Now if you're not familiar with Steam to get it you want to go into your favorite web browser and navigate to store.steampower.com. Once there, you want to click on Install Steam, and then it'll bring you to this window, and you click that, and it'll give you a little downloader, and it's the same as installing any program on your PC. Just read through the couple of steps, it's very user intuitive, and I already have Steam installed, so I'm not going to go through that. Once you're done, and you have Steam, you're going to get a lovely window like this, and I've just navigated over to Store, and I searched for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So currently, because Black Ops 3 is on you know it's on it's kind of on the momentum to like get people to buy it because the new Call of Duty is coming out and Battlefield will be coming out soon so they just released the mod tools and the DLCs will be coming out very very shortly for PC so that'll be our last map which will kind of uh, finish things up as far as DLCs goes for Black Ops 3. So it's currently on sale and you can see the prices here. So that's just the standard edition, digital deluxe. Now the multiplayer starter pack, don't get that if you want to do mod tools because it'll only give you the multiplayer half of the game. And I'm not sure how it works, but it probably won't work well with the mod tools. Just a thought. And then season pass and extras and whatnot. And then a couple of different news items there but down here is the system requirements so this is the minimum that they recommend you will need to actually run the black ops 3 game and also for well mod tools probably you get away with this as well i'm not too sure what the kind of requirement is for them so starting things off you're going to need to about aim for these specs or above them now if you don't have a clue and this looks all gibberish to you just do a small little bit of research on computer hardware and the actual you know performance of all of these before you jump on and buy the game and then realize your computer can't run it and get very disappointed that's just something to watch out for once you've done that and you've decided which version of the game you want to buy and 30 euro is a pretty decent deal to be perfectly honest with you for the game considering that it's normally 60 it's a good deal. Once you've bought the game then, you want to go over to your library and it's going to show up in the games tab and it's going to show up somewhere along here as a greyed out game like any of these. So what you want to do is find Black Ops, now for me it's here and I have it installed, but if you were downloading it, you want to click on it and click install and it's going to bring you to a little window like this and you just want to click next wherever you want to install it and that's it. It'll start downloading and it's going to take a while to download because it is a big game. Now depending on your internet it will take a while or ages or a couple of days. For me it took a couple of days. But then you'll have the game and you can play it to your heart's content. To get the mod tools which is what the video is all about. You want to hover over the library tab and go the whole way down to tools. Once you're here then you want to scroll through the list and find Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now for me I have it as a favourite. So it's just up here, so the mod tools, voila, and you want to right click it and install game. Now, again, I have it installed, so just as a demo, one of these greyed out games, you can just click install game, and it'll go through the same process as installing the actual base game. Cool. Now, the crucial part to this is you want to right click, go down to properties, 
go over to DLC and tick this little box. Bow Tree Mod Tools Additional Assets. This is actually the Mod Tools package. The first bit is like, oh yeah, you've installed the Mod Tools. Cool. But this is like the extras. These are what you want to make some some like decent maps. And I'd recommend it. So just tick that little box and a download will, will start to install. It's going to take a while, to be perfectly honest with you. It is a 45-ish gig download. So that's going to take its time. And to watch your progress, you can just scroll down here to downloads and it will pop up here. And that's it. So actually, it's 46.5 gigs to download currently. That will probably fluctuate and change over time. And as they add updates, it'll probably be a little bit more. So currently, that's how much it is. And ugh, it takes a while, but that's it. So that's the whole install process. So from starting out Steam to installing the mod tools. Once that's all downloaded, then you have the mod tools. And then we're ready for the next video where I'm just going to go through the first, the very first setup for the mod tools when you open them up first and making your very first map. So thanks for watching. And as always, I hope you've enjoyed.